Some people tell you all kinds of things that are good for you. I believe birthdays are good for you, the proof that those people who have the most live the longest. Hashem has been very good to me, uh, exceptionally good. Look, I'm standing on my original legs. Thank God, mentally alert, and the, the idea is to keep working, to keep mentally alert, because uh, that, that's, uh, activity is the name of the game. I'm used to this very energetic father who normally when he tells me what he's doing in a day, I actually get out of breath myself and that's without doing it. Um, he's extraordinary. He fits into Israel like a duck to water. We always knew he would. He has that chutzpah which you need here. The journalist also, it's amazing. Yeah, well that's, that's extraordinary on its own, what he does and who he sees and who he interviews. Is it a day of looking back also? Uh, no, looking forward. You look forward. Uh, I'm saying said uh, today that uh, I am now beginning the hun my hundredth year of life uh, at this birthday. Hundredth year of life. I mean it now. And I only hope Hashem will give me that at the end of the hundredth year I should feel as good as at the beginning. What's the secret? The secret. What is the secret? I don't know. I think obviously some of it's genes. We can't take that for granted. Um, and he just keeps going. He's a survivor. As you know, he's a Holocaust survivor. And he literally is everything that would appertain to that word. Everything you could imagine. What is my th big, uh, big deal that everybody knows me? It's the fact that I'm still working and, uh, and, the, and the, the oldest working uh, journalist and uh, radio uh, uh, commentator. In the world? Uh, in the world, yeah. That, uh, so that's really nothing big, is it? Nothing that I have achieved. That's not an achievement. Hashem gave me the age and my work is my work. People probably ask you, what's the secret? Could it be that part of the secret is your work always being curious, always asking, always learning? Always, uh, always inquiring. When I was a young boy, they called me in German the Warum, the Why, because I always said Why, Why, Why I inquired. And my, my uh, uh, academic uh, studies were in philosophy, and that is inquiring and uh, analyzing. So, so I, uh, uh, it keeps me going to ask, to, to inquire, and uh, particularly uh, to work. Activity is the name of the game, you know, uh, so you have to be active. He's a great believer, Daddy, that you must keep going, that, and you take something on, see it through to the end. That's always been his motto. He always talks about that and says, don't just start a bit here and a bit there and a bit there. And I think he's immersed himself so completely in what he does today. And I think it's, it's an accumulation of everything he's done in his life. I am very glad I live here. I'm, this, is, this is a wonderful place. To come here is, in fact, the second best thing I ever did. The best thing, of course, was to uh, get married, have a family, have a daughter. We all bless you with a happy birthday with health. What is your blessing to our viewers? To look forward, to be positive, not to quench, not to be negative, uh, particularly, uh, and of course, uh, in, in due course, uh, they'll all have to come to, uh, to Israel because uh, when we look around the world with the developing anti-Semitism, uh, it's not going to get better, it's going get, to get worse. And uh, the quicker they come, the better, because then they can still bring all their belongings and all their monies and everything else and not come with a little suitcase like I did.